Hello, this is Travis here. Right now you're probably wondering why in the world are you creating another blog? Is it a recording? No. Does it have anything to do with piano? No. So, why am I on here today? Well, first of all, I want to show you what I've been working on in school lately. I mean, I've been pretty busy. It's just that I haven't been able to play piano that often. So my focus has been shifted to a, a totally different subject. Well, not totally. As you all know, I have had some artwork up. Uh, currently, I've been pretty busy with school. You're probably wondering, and like most people who are my age, probably already have a job. Let's say, personally, I do not have a job right now. As you could say, I do not uh, work. However, I consider myself a full-time student. <laughs> Although you could say that. Um, right now, I want to get show you guys what I've been up to in terms of trying to uh, practice on a skill. Um, since I've been pretty uh, big into art, it's something that I valued besides piano. And right now, that's what I've been currently trying to practice upon. As you can tell, I'm pretty big into realism. And as you can may have not known, I still am right now. This can kind of go in chords with my pianos that I typically try to perfect a technique which is basically based on imitation rather than trying to develop something on my own. Uh, when it comes to Photoshop, that's one of the one things that I've been working on. And since I do not work, I definitely do... I made this a personal choice to not work. However, I do know that I still have to make some money because I'm running short on cash and I kind of would like to get some cash flow going. Uh, Right now, what I want to show you guys is my latest artwork. This is one of the things that I've been practicing. It is uh, Final Fantasy XIII, the main character. Her name is Lightning. Uh, I'll show it to you in a moment. However, what I want to be able to show you guys here is to let you guys know that I'm trying to commission some artwork, some prints of my latest artwork. They will be on 8.5 by 11 the typical standard paper and I will charge ten dollars you might be thinking holy crap why in the world would you charge ten dollars for a work that could be realistic that you could print for yourself well ideally this is just more for those that uh, have an appreciation for the realistic type of work I mean ideally a person could say hey look at this work you totally manipulated it how the hell could you call this work your own? Well, I value this kind of work, and yeah, I think that's why I make. I believe it's important for me, uh, and it's a skill that I think is very important, no matter how little amount of money I'm making from it. But hopefully, I'm trying to get myself a, become more marketable in type of this art industry. In terms of game design, uh, it relates more to like uh, modeling possibly where you can texture your own skin in Photoshop and place it right uh, on like a 3ds max type of program where you can model your own characters which are based on polygon limits for instance okay right now I will take the camera off and show you exactly the detail that I've been trying to focus on as you go as I stated earlier, this is my latest work, and right now, as I stated earlier, you can take a look at, at the amount of detail that I put into the image. Uh, the detail is there, and I believe, as I stated earlier, it is going to be commissioned for 10 bucks. What I want to get out of this is to have at least, I will have at least 10 people who will be on the waiting list to request a print. And once I get all 10 of them, at least 10 people who want to pay the $10 fee, I will go and ask for checks and I will state my address and I'll ask for uh, 
your email, your mailing address, your name, as well as the type of artwork you're interested in. Uh, this is my latest artwork. Her name is Lightly, once again. Now, I did a printout of exactly a what it would look like. As you can see, it, it is a little bit darker. There's a little bit more tone to it, however, uh, I think it's quite good for the amount of money that you guys are going to get expected. Uh, it will be placed into vanilla envelopes, so hopefully it will not get totally destroyed. Okay, anywho, it comes with a signature, my own, and I'm pretty proud of this. This is one of the most detailed ones that I've worked on. I've worked at least four days on, on it. If any of you guys uh, have questions about this project, you can take more information on my monholepark.deepinart.com webpage. And there I listed in a journal entry uh, more stating about uh, the commission fees that are required if you guys do want to buy this piece. Uh, this is another work. This is a previous work. Otto Wong. It's another video game character. I particularly like to stick with video game characters just because I, don't know, I am going into game design and ideally this is something that I, I believe that I can make something more out of once I fine tune my technique which I think is doing pretty well right now. Uh, I'll expand in. You can see the detail that has been put onto the face. I added some textures especially on the fleece coat or supposedly like a fleece coat so the work is there you just have to appreciate that it is something that I value and it's something that could possibly be quite marketable once I become more confident in my skills with this type of work alright anywho just to sum things up this is just a blog uh, stating the type of work that I'm trying to commission and since my YouTube page is pretty popular when it comes to my piano videos hence a lot more people who come to my DeviantArt page uh, appreciate and see the value of my piano works however uh, that stuff is probably not so great in terms of how where I want to get to in life so ideally I'm posting this more for from an artwork standpoint I'm quite known for my piano videos however this is something that I value and once again ten dollar fee if you guys want to pay the ten dollars up front just let me know through email monhopark dot at monhopark at hotmail dot com m a n h o p a r k at hotmail dot com questions comments please let me know